Hi everyone and welcome back to Astro Bloke channel. Happy New Year to you all and uh, let's hope 2021 is a much better year for everyone. I'm going to do a short video today just to talk about Starnet++ and how quickly you can get the uh, program to work if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card. I use it through PixInsight but Starnet++ can be used as a standalone program. This is my website astrobloke.co.uk if you'd like to check out all of my images and video links um, please have a look and if you do go on my videos and you like what you see please uh, consider subscribing and I welcome any comments also. So as I say I work through PixInsight um, and I use Starnet++ in there. There's a website here which I'm going to put a link at the end of the video and this is uh, Dark Skies Astrophotography and it gives you all the instructions of what you need to download and how to put the CUDA program into your computer. And what this will do is rather than Starnet using the CPU to do its process and before I downloaded this removing the stars of an image could take anything between 5 and 10 minutes. Once I downloaded this, um, I've got uh, an NVIDIA 980 GTX graphics card. So it's not even the latest one, it's a few models back. And this, the speed difference is enormous. Um, I did update PixInsight to 1.8.87 um, and I don't know if Starnet++ uh, with this CUDA is supported in that. So this works definitely with the, with the last version. I did put in the new version and it didn't go as fast so there might need to be another update done on that but if you stay with 1.8.86 this works perfectly well. As I say I'll put a link to this at the end of the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into PixInsight for you and I'm actually going to show you the speed that the star removal is done if you've got an Nvidia graphics card and you download this this process. So let's uh, first of all get Starnet up, which is there, and then we need an image. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to open a couple of images, a large image there, which is tadpoles. Um, let's open the Wizard Nebula as well. I've got a couple of images here that we can play with. So what we'll do before we actually start the program I'm just gonna shrink this down a little bit and I'm gonna bring up the task manager and that way you can see what's actually working so as I say normally this program would work all through the CPU but if you download the uh, the programs and follow the links that are in the uh, site that I'm going to uh, uh, show you at the end it will make everything work through the graphics uh, processor and you'll see the difference in speed so if we uh, select an item here and we just literally go for a, just a basic star removal you'll see straight away that over here rather than the CPU jumping up massively it actually all ends up going through the graphics and there we got 77% and if we go down here, where this used to just, well, just flick a number every sort of uh, three to five seconds, it is just literally piling through it. And there's your stylus image. And the same goes if you want to even create a star mask, which is what I normally do. I remove the stars, make the changes. I can do all the stretching on the nebulosity and then add the stars back in at the end. But again, as you can see, that is just so far there's no trick here I'm not fast forwarding the video or anything this is just how quick this system is if you download the CUDA um, program and uh, you have an NVIDIA graphics card it only works with NVIDIA so um, it's no point trying it with uh, any other make um, but uh, a well it's, it's a really good tool and having it working that fast makes life so much easier um, as I say, link will be in the description below. Um, if you do have any problems, give me a shout. I may be able to help you out with it. 
Um, I didn't find it too difficult to get it working and um, it uh, really does make processing a lot easier because it saves you a lot of time and uh, I hope you all stay well and have a great new year. Thanks now.